Hey friends, welcome back to another tutorial. So in this video, we'll work this knot pillow. I'll show you how to crochet the inner tube and then how to knot it to form this beautiful pillow pattern. And in the tutorial, I use the velvet yarn. You don't have to use velvet yarn. You can use any yarn that you have around. Uh, preferably a worsted weight yarn. You can use acrylic or cotton. And then you're going to use a 4.0 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors. You'll need one stitch marker, at least one stitch marker. And then you're going to use this polyfiber filling for the tube. And then one rod. This is the rod that I'm talking about. This is to push the fiber inside your tube. So that is what you're going to need. And a tape measure. So tape measure, you'll use it to measure the length of that tube before you turn it into a pillow. So my pillow is small. I'll leave the measurement in the description box below. So please check it out. And also I'll leave the link to the written pattern that will be free on my blog. For this project, you're going to need yarn. I'm going to use this velvet yarn. It recommends a 3.5 to a 4.0 millimeter crochet hook. And you'll need a tip measure, pair of scissors, a 4.0 millimeter crochet hook, and a darning needle. To begin, you're going to start by working a magic ring or creating a magic ring. So you want to work, start with a slip stitch, and then chain four. After chaining four, you're going to join it to the first chain to create a magic ring. So this is our magic ring. Then you want to chain one. This chain one does not count as a stitch. Then go in the very loop that you've just created, the magic ring. Such a hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So that is our first single crochet. You want to place your marker on the very first single crochet stitch. Then continue placing one single crochet in the magic ring until you have a total of six single crochets. So that is two, three, four, five, then six. When you have six single crochets, you want to go in the very first stitch. Do not join the round with a slip stitch. You want to go in the very first stitch and continue to round two. So insert your hook in that first stitch, then work one single crochet. Now you want to place your marker in the first single crochet of the second round. Then add another single crochet in the very same stitch. Go in the next stitch, place two single crochets. In the third stitch, place two single crochets and continue until you finish all the stitches. In the very last stitch, place your last two single crochets. So at the end of round two, you shall have 12 single crochet stitches and proceed to round three. Go in the very first stitch, work a single crochet, then replace your marker in that first stitch. So after you've worked your first single crochet in the first stitch, work two single crochets in the next stitch. one single crochet in the third stitch, two single crochet in the fourth stitch, one in the fifth, two in the sixth, and continue alternating between one single crochet in the next stitch and two single crochets in the next stitch. Thank you. 
at the end of round three we're going to proceed to round four which will be our last increased round we go in the next or the first stitch of round three and work your first stitch of round four then remove your marker and replace it in that first stitch of round four then single crochet in the next stitch and two single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in the next two stitches two single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet in the next two stitches two single crochets in this next stitch and repeat that alternating between one single crochet in the next two stitches and then two single crochet in the next stitch until you reach the end of round four so I've come to the end of round four and at this last round of increases you shall have 24 single crochet stitches and then you can close the gap that you created in the magic ring by pulling this yarn tail after you've pulled it and you ensure it's closed you can go ahead and work the rest of your rounds so from here on you can remove your marker you don't have to worry about it or you can still use it but since you're working on a spiral you're going to work one single crochet in each stitch so work one single crochet in each stitch all the way until you finish your first ball of yarn or your tube measures roughly 35 to 36 inches before we start feeding in the fiber just work single crochet in each stitch in a spiral way all the way and then I'll meet you when I'm through with my first ball or when I've achieved roughly 35 inches another thing if you're having trouble working with the velvet yarn you can start with any acrylic yarn or any yarn that you have around it will work just fine or if you're working with a velvet yarn you want to find the next stitch with your hook just find it insert your hook in the next stitch and it will just work fine so i'll proceed off camera and then i'll meet you when i'm done with my first ball of yarn so at this point you'll need something like a rod to feed in the fiber inside your pillow and then your fiber so since this one comes compressed you're going to loosen it before you insert it inside your fiber inside your pillow sorry so this is what you're going to do to fluff it because it comes compressed so just do this before you insert it inside your tube so when it's loose enough you can insert it in your tube and then use your rod to push it all the way to the end
after filling your tube until you're close to where you're working on, the row you're working on, you'll stop there and proceed with the rows until you finish another ball or until you have another 25 to 36 inches, depending on how long you want it to be. Yeah, I'm just going to proceed with my single crochet in each stitch in a spiral way all the way until I finish the next ball of yarn or until I have another 25 inches and then I continue to fill it and I repeat that until um, I have roughly 155 inches of the tube. If you want a bigger pillow you're going to have more more rounds or more inches of the tube if you want it smaller you can have few inches this one i'm going to work roughly 160 inches tall or more than that but there's another one that i've already finished i did up to 156 inches so i'm going to show you how to close it and then how to tie it i went ahead and finished this one so i have a total of 156 inches and to close now the last few rounds here you're going to mark the last stitch and you want to ensure that you have a total of 24 stitches here at the end so you want to work one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the next stitch and then single crochet two together the next two stitches One single crochet the next two stitches and then single crochet two together the next two stitches so you want to insert your hook in the first stitch and over pull through insert hook in the next stitch and over pull through when you have three loops you want to yarn over pull through all the three loops single crochet the next two stitches single crochet two together so you want to continue until you finish this next crown. When you reach the last four stitches, you want to do the same single crochet the next two stitches. And then remember we marked our last stitch, so you're going to work on that stitch. So work your single crochet two together, the second last and the last stitch. So at this point you should have 18 stitches and then you want to work another row of decreases so work one single crochet in the next stitch which is the first stitch you can mark that first now this round and then single crochet two together single crochet the next stitch then single crochet two together single crochet the next stitch then you decrease single crochet two together and repeat this all the way to the end of the round at the end of that next round you're going to work your last round of decreases so work remove the first marker and work single crochet two together the first and the second stitch mark that first stitch Then continue single crochet two together all the way around. So at the end of this round, you shall have six stitches. Remove your marker, then you can fit in some fiber if you still have a gap. When that is done, you can now go ahead and cut a long tail, not so long, but one enough to close this gap. And using a darning needle, you want to close that gap. So fit your tail inside the yarn needle. And now you want to insert the loop through that last stitch and then go through the stitches 
insert your hook in the next stitch from outside to inside the next one from in to out and then you want to do that all the way around after you've done it all the way you can go pull it to close that gap and then now weave in the sides Once your confidential stitching is secure, you can just go ahead and cut your yarn. So I'll go through some few stitches before I cut my yarn. So that is how you work the tube so the next step will be now to create it into a knot pillow to tie the knot you want to take one end and then fold it as you see here with the long tail or the long end you want to bring it above this one until you have two rounds on each side when you do that, after you've done that, you want to bring the one you're working on to half of the circle, then pass it at the back and wrap it twice. Then when you have two in front and two at the back, you want to go through the loops of the first two rounds that you created, these loops here. So start with the bottom one. Pass it inside that. Let it pass through this other one. And then let it go back again behind this one here. Let it pass through that gap again and come through the gap. So at this point, you want to adjust it until. You're, puff, you're confident or you love your knot pillow. So I'll go ahead and adjust that, then I'll show you how it looks like at the end. So after working all my adjustments, this is how my knot pillow looks like. I've tucked in the ends inside here. You can see one popping here but it's it's not easily visible so that is how you do a knot pillow thank you so much for watching you can find the written pattern link in the description box below if you want to follow with that one please go ahead and until next time stay safe god bless you bye